from a very special game show edition of an Oibi video. I have two contestants here today. Come on down, everybody. On my right-hand side, I have my brother, Dennis Hornsby. On my left-hand side, I have my girlfriend, Brennan LeBlanc. And today, we are going to be doing a game show theme park competition based on me, myself. So what I did is I got my iPad here and I came up with 10 theme park questions relating to me. And what Dennis and Brennan, I looked at the opposite person when I said their name, what they're going to be doing today is they're going to be trying to guess the answers. And each of these questions has a few different point values in them. So some could be worth more than others depending on how many answers they get right. And I'm going to go and cut to the chase. This microphone is not plugged into anything at all, but it just makes it a little bit more fun. And I'm wearing a bow tie today. So the first question. Dennis and Brennan, I did it again. Out of the six major non-water theme parks at Universal and Disney, rate my favorite parks to go to from favorite to least favorite. Oh, goodness. What kind of question is this? You can do it, and I'm gonna give you points for if you get the correct theme park, at least in the correct place. You'll this see what- In Orlando? Just a second, yeah, in Orlando. So the four parks at Disney, the two parks at Universal, rate them from my favorite theme park of all, to my least favorite theme park between the th between the two resorts. I know two of these. You know two theme parks? Two water theme parks? No, 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 non-water theme parks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios. Can they do it? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not confident. You guys can do it. I'm still talking into this even though it, it isn't connected to any kind of an audio input, but it makes me feel kind of cool. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this part, if I'm just gonna keep it in, keeping myself just kind of talking, or if I'm just gonna cut to them and their answers. They're doing their best right now. Brennan is, uh, she's almost done. Dennis just started. Both Brennan and Dennis are left-handed. Did you know that? That's kind of weird. I, I feel know. out of, out of place, my being a right-handed person. My handwriting's weird, because I was trying not to, like, do the left-handed thing and wipe it. All right, Brennan, this time, Dennis, how are you doing? You should get some bonus points, I guess. For mm. what? <laughs> Finishing faster. Nope, nope. No need for bonus points. So We should get bonus points at the end if we don't see the answers that are on. Yep, the I have the answers right here on my iPad, so I'm just trying to I'm move trying, them around. Trying so not to ruin the fun Nobody for sees them. Did you look at this at all? No, I don't want to ruin the fun for myself. <laughs> I still keep talking in this. Hello. Isn't it kind of fun though? Yes. Alright, I guess says yes. Okay. Okay. So go and reveal your answers right now. Brennan says, what does she say? She says, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. Dennis says, I have the same thing except I switched Animal Kingdom and Universal Studios. Ooh. Ooh. So the correct answer is Magic Kingdom, Islands of Adventure, what? Universal Studios, what? Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. No, I just switched up the hmm. two, three, and four. But it looks like you got the first, the fifth, and the sixth place correct in the correct locations. Dennis, you got just the first one. So and Dennis has, one. oh yeah, you got the last one too. So Dennis, you have two points. Brennan, you have three points. Woo Whoa, here we go. It's it's exciting. Oh, I should have mentioned, I was thinking about doing kind of a prize at the end of this. So I will tell you what that is as soon as we get to the end of this video, which is probably going to be not that exciting, but it's kind of exciting for me. The so the winner gets a big old smooch. Yeah, why not? So question number two, wins. are you guys ready? Are you erasing your boards? I'll donate mine to the less fortunate. Question number two. So this involves a little bit of a backstory. I have worked for both Disney and Universal in the past few years. When I first started, I worked at a few different attractions. I don't work at attractions anymore, but in the next 30 seconds, I want you guys to list as many of the attractions that I have worked at as you can. You get one point for each one correct. Ready, set, go. This includes both Universal and Disney. Does this include things you might be working on now? No, this is just rides that I've worked on in the past. I don't work at rides anymore at all. Ah, oh, okay. This is the awkward part where I just kind of wait while they write these answers down. This is the awkward part where I hope I didn't accidentally forget something. Because mm -hmm. you said just attractions, Just right? attractions. All right, I'm gonna say you have How many answers five more this? seconds. I don't want to say. I don't think. I think that's a fair question. Okay, there are five possible answers for this. Five possible answers. Mm-hmm. What about impossible answers? There's 
infinite impossible answers. Oh, I hope this counts um, then. Cause you got me scared. All right, Dennis, you have, you have a couple more seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Magic markers down or dry erase markers, whatever we're using. <laughs> Brennan, what are your answers? I put, I hope this is what you meant by five. Cause I combined Dumbo and Barnstormer cause it was technically the same. That is correct. So we have Dumbo, Barnstormer, Jungle Cruise, Disaster, and the Hogwarts Express, both the Universal and Islands of Adventure. Dennis, what do you have? Uh, I'm a dummy because I forgot Jungle Cruise. Whoops. But I put Dumbo. How do you forget the one carousel. thing that he won't let you forget? The, that one, the merry-go-round. Because you worked there, you used to push the strollers. Right? That doesn't count. What? Come on. Nope. Come on. So you have Dumbo, you have the carousel, Hogwarts you have Express. the Hogwarts Express, and that show at MK. You know that show <laughs> next to the merry-go-round where it has like the 3D glasses? I thought you worked on that one. No. So official answers of official rides that I worked at that did not include uh, special assignments, I guess, five years ago. So you got two answers correct. Brennan, you got five. Woo! So that brings your score up to eight. Dennis, that brings your score up to four. Carousel should count. Eh, not so much. So Dennis, can you bounce back from this? Nope. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of these questions have multi-part answers, That's by the way. Some of them are just what? one answer. Every question from now on is going to have like one answer. <laughs> I'm down like four points. No, no, no. There's, there's a few where you can, you can get a couple points. Okay. The next question. What ride do I wish would continue to exist at Universal Studios for all time? So I said it continue to exist. So this is a ride that is still there that I want to exist for all time because I love it that much. Universal or Islands? Universal Studios. So the Universal Studios theme park. Do you have your answers? No. Dennis. I need more time. Brennan has your answer. I need more time. <laughs> well, this is the awkward part. How are you doing, Brennan? You can't say that every time, otherwise it's not funny. Oh, no. Just like my <laughs> microphone. I got enough. <clears throat> All right, ready? Display your answers in three, two, one. Hogwarts, E.T. The correct answer is... The E.T. Adventure, burning gets a point. So you don't want Hogwarts to be there forever. It would be, I do want the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to be there for as long as possible, but any kind of updates or improvements that they can make on the Forbidden Journey attraction, that would be cool. But E.T. as it is, I think is a beautiful, perfect ride. So, Brennan, you have nine points now. Dennis, you have four. I feel like I keep losing on technicalities. Can you guys write your scores, like, for the top of your little your little board? So, because I'm going to lose track. Do tally point. marks. I have nine. So, you have nine, nine, and Dennis has four. So, the next question. What are my respective least favorite attractions at Disney and Universal Orlando? Mm -hmm. I talk about what my favorite rides are all the time, but what are my least favorite rides at Universal and at Disney? Each park or one for each? One for each. One from Disney, one from Universal. Wait, all of Disney or in all of Universal? Like yeah. not islands? All of Universal Orlando and all of Walt Disney World Resort. I think I know. Oh no. You guys can do this. Can I do this? I don't know. This bow tie is really tight and constricting my esophagus. It's hard to breathe. Um. I just said it I probably should have brought like a like an hourglass or something because I don't know if the appropriate amount of time to give you to think about yeah, these okay. answers are. Plenty, because you can edit this later. That's true. But I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this as one long, awkward, embarrassing take or if I'll just cut it up a little bit. I'm going to think of Disney. I'll probably cut it up a little bit because I feel like it's just been me just kind of talking into this big old black microphone. You're almost there, Brennan. You can do it. I don't know. But... Cut her off. You cut me off earlier. I don't know. That's true. You... I gotta give you a countdown. I, cut... I made oh, Dennis. Crap. Um. All right. I'm gonna give you five, four, three, three two, two, I don't know. One. Crap. Zero. Ding. Just write any attraction at all. I can't. Oh no, <laughs> Brennan. All right. Show it off, Dennis. Mission Space and, and Simpsons. Simpsons. We have Mission Space and Simpsons. I was thinking Mission Space, but I did put Simpsons. All right. Dennis, you are correct. You get two points for Mission Space oh, no. and The Simpsons ride. Brennan, you get one point. Two okay. points each? Two points for... No. One point for each. Ooh. I didn't... I know you didn't like the one half of Mission Space, but I didn't know if that meant it was your least favorite. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next question. This is going to make it, I guess, halfway through the game. So, 
Where is my favorite place to relax at Walt Disney World? My favorite place to relax. Again, just looking at my iPad here, so either one of them can just take the answers, but I trust them, I hope. Does it still exist? It does still exist. I'm like suddenly blanking on how to spell that uh -oh. name, <laughs> but you'll get the idea. <laughs> nice. All right, that's, that's my favorite place to relax. Just think of a relaxing place, and if you think you'd see me there, hanging out, relaxing. Does this include resorts? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, why not? Walt Disney World. He's writing his answer. Okay, it looks like they're both ready to go. Go and reveal your answers, ladies and gentlemen. Lady and gentleman. Show me your boards. So we have Trader Sam's and Tom Sawyer's I Island. Tom Sawyer's Island. Tom Sawyer's Island. <laughs> Tom Sawyer's Island is correct. Tom Whoa! Sawyer Island. So, Brennan, you get one point. Dennis, but Trader Sam's. It's not that relaxing if you've ever been in there, to be honest. Why would you say resorts are included if the answer's not a resort? I said Walt Disney World. That's the entirety of the entire property. But, I don't know. Would you, would you have said something different if I said just the parks? Well, yeah. I wouldn't have answered something that's at a resort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sabotaging you. I would have said Club Cool. Okay, so it looks like Brennan is five cool points ahead of you. You don't exist. Oh, no. Are you guys ready for the next question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question. What ride at Universal Orlando do I wish that I could narrate? This stems from my desire to leave some sort of an imprint on the theme park community, the world at either theme park, and it'd be really neat to be able to contribute to that in a way of which I could give my voice to a ride that is currently there. This is Universal Orlando. And Dennis, it's going to be at one of the theme parks this time, okay? Is this a ride you have a shot of actually narrating? I mean, I have a shot of narrating anything, but... Help the guy out. Just say a very specific answer. I mean, I guess so. I, 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 I could narrate this, probably. Okay. Display your answers in three, two, one. <gasps> River Adventure, it's Jurassic Park River Adventure. I literally had no, like, no idea what the answer was. Just it's more pictures of Spider-Man! Dennis says Spider-Man. The answer, oh, that's a good answer is the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Oh, Dennis, yeah. you got a point. No. What's kind of funny is I actually did think about River Adventure being the answer to that first, but then I thought of Spider-Man, and I was like, that would be fun to do. <laughs> Can you do a J. Jonah Jameson? Well, I was thinking of actually doing Peter Parker, but oh, okay. I don't know. You got the answer Just right. Just find a signal. <laughs> so, moving on. Okay. And we are moving on. That's a reference to disaster that I used to work at. Who is my favorite Disney princess and which Disney ride would I ride with that Disney princess? Platonically, romantically, I'm not going to answer that, but this could be a two-part potential You want potential to ride the ride with answer. the princess or this princess is on this ride? No, I want to ride this ride with this princess. I want to take said princess and go ride a Walt Disney World ride with this princess. I don't want to, but this is the question that I'm asking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who's my favorite Disney princess, and then what ride would I take a Disney princess on? Do you know? Nope. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm gonna go on the... What color is her hair? The teacups with Tiana. What color is her hair? Mm -hmm. That gives you too much that you don't need to know. In between two. This. Don't think too much into it. You can do it. I didn't. Is the ride related? <laughs> what? Is the ride related? The, the ride is not related to the princess. I'll say that. Is it Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah. Princess Spider-Man. Yeah. Merida and me are gonna go ride. Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever talked about what your favorite princess is. Really? Who? Oh, or maybe yeah. we have, and I just tuned it out. Looks like we have a couple answers. Go and reveal. Brennan says, riding Peter Pan's flight with Snow White. You did put Peter Pan's Flight. Is Peter Pan the Princess riding Snow White's Scary Adventures or is it Snow White riding Peter Pan's Flight? So whatever you wanted to be, baby. <laughs> and then Dennis put Ariel riding the Jungle Cruise. Welcome back from that commercial break. Just <laughs> kidding, my camera died. So Dennis put Ariel on the Jungle Cruise and then Brenda put Snow White on Peter Pan's Flight. The correct answer is Rapunzel on Peter Pan's Flight. So Brenda, you get one point, Dennis, you get nothing, baby. I'm sorry. Why How did Peter I not? Pan's flight? Where did Rapunzel Peter Pan's... come from? I like Rapunzel. She gets things done. She is motivated. She is clean and organized. And she wants to see the world and do everything in literally one day. 
But Dennis, that was a pretty good choice too. Ariel's pretty. I just pretty winged cool. it on Peter Pan because you want to take everybody on Peter Pan. I mean, it's a fun ride to to, to ride, <laughs> and I think they'd appreciate it. So so fun. <laughs> we're down to our last few questions here. Oh wait, I have to. Get, oh wait. This is going to be a universal question. I I tried to go back and forth with these a little bit. According to the Celtic calendar, which Wizarding World of Harry Potter wand corresponds to my birthday? The month or the. Uh, Pretty much the month. My birthday corresponds to a certain Celtic calendar month, which is attributed to how they decide what your wand is in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. What is my wand, basically, is the easy question there. I'm so I need to know what your Celtic month corresponding to your actual birth month is? It's a complicated way to just ask, what is my Harry Potter wand? Like the shape of it? No, like... Like, like what it's made out of. Yes, so like elm or uh, oak. Or elder. I think those are a few options. I actually don't really know all of them. I wrote one down. It's either Roy's or it's mine. I don't remember either of ours. All right, we have a couple answers. Go and reveal. We have Mabel and we have Oak. Those are both wrong. It is Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. Yay! So I'm Oak, <laughs> or maybe not. I, I don't make, know. I had to make a couple of these complicated. <laughs> okay, moving on. Which is my personal favorite theme park challenge video that I've made? I've made a lot of theme park challenge videos both on my own channel and for the Attractions Magazine YouTube channel. And any of those challenges could apply here, but I have one challenge video that I've done that I just like more than the others because of the effort that it took to make. So there's your clue for that one. I like doing theme park challenge videos. They're a lot of fun. It gives you a different way to experience the theme parks and have a good time and be creative about it. So I'm gonna keep doing them because they're cool. This, this happens. That's the right? answer. Yes, that did happen, Dennis. Interesting. Actually, I don't know how often Dennis watches my videos. I know that Brennan watches them all, but I don't know what Dennis does or doesn't watch. So this could be interesting. Ready? Okay. Everybody, reveal. <gasps> We're gonna put the ABC challenge, and then Dennis put Disney World and Disneyland in the same day. Ooh. Now I'm gonna tell you That's before I tell you the correct answers. What, before I tell you what the correct answer is, both of those were very, very high contenders in this because they were both a lot of fun to do. So they're both wrong. They're both incorrect. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> oh no. The ABC challenge was when I went to Magic Kingdom and I tried to do everything in Magic Kingdom, not really everything, but I tried to go through the alphabet and do something that corresponded with that letter throughout the day. So I would do the Astro Orbiter, then Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, tried to do the Country Bears, ended up eating a churro. It was a blast of a day. It took 11 or 12 hours. Then it's put Disneyland and Disney World on the same day. That is when Brennan and myself went to Disney World to ride Space Mountain and then went to Disneyland to ride Space Mountain later on that evening. That was a lot of fun, but the correct answer is Theme Parks at the Roll of the Dice. That was a video that I did for Attractions Magazine where I took three dice, and on each one of those dice I put a theme park, I put a type of ride, and then I put an activity. And what Brendan and myself did was we rolled all three dice. I was and in we this would, one? You were in this one. Oh crap! Yeah. You too many! At least I have an excuse. We would roll yeah. the dice, and we would just go and do whatever <laughs> it said. So we went to Magic Kingdom to ride a boat ride, which was Splash Mountain, to play with the paddleboard on that ride, and that was just probably the most creative thing I think that I've oh, yeah. come up with as far as the challenge. It was complicated, and we were in and out of those theme parks, but it was a blast, and I loved it, and I want to do it again for this channel at some point. I so, never guessed that one. we have moved on to the final question. And you're going down, Hornsby! I definitely am. <laughs> yeah, I think that Brennan's gonna win this. <laughs> Almost but like you we will see what happens. Most points at the very beginning. <laughs> Dennis, if you get the second part of this question, I will give you five points. Okay? What? Yay. Yep. If you get it within a reasonable amount. Does that mean if I get the second part of this, I don't? It could be a tie, or Dennis could lose, or you could win. We will see what happens. So the question is. As of the recording of this video, what is the most watched video on my YouTube channel? Oi B. The most watched video, and then how many views does it have within maybe 10,000 views, I'll say. What? <laughs> within 10,000? You can do it. 
You can do it. You're like top two most watched are like the same video. Let's see what they say. If Dennis gets it exactly correct, if Brennan loses and he gets the views correct, Dennis could win this. Ooh, he's, are you showing me what your answer is? Interesting. I'm not gonna give him any facial reactions that he could potentially use. All right, Dennis, okay. you, you gotta come up with an answer. I don't know what the title is verbatim. All right, we have our answers. Go ahead and display your answers there, ladies and gentlemen, lady and gentlemen, again. So we have Harry Potter wands, 1,420,000 views. Wow. And then we have Brennan, comprehensive look of Wizarding World Wands, 840,000 views. So the correct answer is a comprehensive look <laughs> at interactive wand magic in Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade at Universal Orlando with 853,625 views. That's just a giant flex. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a long title and it has a good amount of views, so if you have watched it, Thank you. It it kind of blew up a little bit, and I'm happy about it. Mostly people just kind of um, it made it to lag. Bubble. Give me some sass on how I pronounce the names of spells. Which, in my defense, if you've ever been into the Wizarding Worlds at Universal, it gets a little bit stressful. So you, sometimes you just get the name of the spell wrong when you're trying to get up there and do it while a little twelve-year-old behind you is hitting you with his wand. So, breathe, breathe. but this is how many views it should have. So Dennis, you were very <laughs> off with the amount that you got. Brennan, you actually got really, really close. And you said comprehensive look of Wizarding World of Wands, not wand magic. So I will give you a point for getting super close, surprisingly, with the views. But, but I don't said the get word it. comprehensive. You did say comprehensive look. But I knew it was comprehensive look as well. But Dennis, you said wands. Should I give either of you a point or should I give neither of you a point? Is the I already question. gave myself a point. So you I gave think. yourself a point and Brennan, you get two points. So it looks like we have Yay! Brennan as the victor. Brennan, you have 14 points. Go ahead and, I was going to say go ahead and show off your tally, but it just but says 14. 14 tallies. And it looks like, Dennis, you got eight points. Okay, not bad. I, this this actually was pretty this interesting. you got to support your brother's YouTube channel. Exactly, more. Dennis. you got to know exactly how many views every <laughs> single video has. What are my favorites? All my theme park playlists. I'm just so embarrassed. So... Do either of you have a takeaway from this experience, Dennis? I think I need to create my own challenge video where I ask you obscure facts about myself. Exactly. This was incredibly narcissistic and I loved every second of it. Brennan, what did you think about this? Oh, that was my takeaway from it, is you're just so full of yourself. I thought it was kind of fun. It's like a newlyweds game, but I got to take advantage of my brother and my girlfriend at the same time asking them questions because <laughs> Dennis is driving away soon back to Atlanta and I He's had to get this driving away. I had to get this in while I could. I wonder why. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching. That was a whole lot of fun and I think I mentioned earlier that there was gonna be a prize for the victor and that prize is going to be Brennan, you get to Instagram whatever you want on my Instagram and make a caption for it. Ooh. That's pretty nice. So I hope it's it's um it's flattering. I hope it makes sense that it's not just a picture of one of my cats. Gonna be your butt. It's gonna be my butt. That's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thank you too for answering questions about me. It was a lot of fun. I held this microphone awkwardly the entire time when it wasn't plugged into anything at all. And I think that's gonna be it for today. So have a good day, everybody. I'll see you soon. And goodbye. Bye. Bye.